Yo Sin and welcome back today you guys and today I wanted to give you guys more of an in-depth dive on everything that was going on in the first video how the airplane mode works how you can manipulate it in your favor and how you can complete all the events complete all the tournaments get all the rewards and still have 8,000 18,000 dice like how you see on the screen here so let me even just go ahead and answer the question from the last video when you are doing the airplane mode and you land on a platform that you do want to keep you do have to knock the airplane mode off like turn it back you know off and get your service back so you can reconnect as soon as possible and that'll secure the spot on the tile that you're on if that is what you want I'm just answering the last question from the last video. Now moving on here, I want to tell you guys all this new information I've collected from trying this. So I'm just going to start and look at it right here. Obviously, you can do this um, manipulation and land on the pedals for the new partner event. So you can use those to your favor and make sure that you guys can level up and make sure that you can complete the event. And when you're in these groups and you see people talking about their selling slots and they'll do all the work and they want you to literally cash app them money and stuff... That's the only thing they're doing. They're manipulating this in their favor so they can have a million pedals so they can level you up and they're literally just charging people money for it. That's all they're doing. Moving on to the next thing, you can obviously do this glitch the same way for the railroads. You can win the tournaments. That's how everybody has 40,000, 50,000 in the tournament and they're finishing the tournament in the first day. That's all. That's nothing special or unique. Now let me tell you guys some more stuff that I learned. The chance cards. The chance cards are not random. They are not random. They make it seem like they're random, but you can literally test it on and on again. If you do the airplane mode glitch and hit the chance, you will get the same chance every single time. The same card will pop up every single time. So what do you do with this information? How do you work it in your favor? What I did is went around the board on times one until I, on airplane mode, of course, until I hit a chance card that gave me the dice reward. Well, when I found out then, I deleted that went back and I had the information that the next chance card I hit is going to be dice. So what do I do? I go to times 1000, roll till I hit it on chance. Then when I hit it on chance, I get 3000 dice as a reward. You can manipulate that big time. You can make it happen way more in your favor. And all you have to do is do the airplane mode glitch, find out what the next chance card is going to be. And then you know you're locked in because it's not random. You're going to get that card no matter what. The next thing I'm going to say, we got the chance cards. What's the other one? jail in the first video i was telling you guys how hard it was to manipulate it and how it's so tedious and time consuming and how it might not actually be worth your time but for the jail i've also found out with you see the clips that are playing in the background the game actually lets you play for quite a bit of time without airplane mode once you confuse the game i've had the point where i've been able to do a full bank heist been able to go around and play like 10 rolls 10 turns before it actually cuts me off so the point being there is you can hit jail do the full entire three dice, and half of the time when you hit jail, it's kind of wonky, and it kind of makes you stop, and it does the internet connection problem, but if it doesn't, you could do the entire sequence and see if it gets doubles. If it doesn't, you reset. If it does get doubles, that's when you take airplane mode off, and you keep the rewards. That's it. Very simple, and, in, and the difference of what I'm telling you in this video and the last video is because the last video, I was telling you just do one roll, and then if you don't like the results, you reset it. Now I'm realizing that you can do an entire sequence of rolls, up to like 10 rolls in your entire line of events and see what happens over the last 10 rolls. And if you like that, take the airplane mode off because you might not get a good roll on the first roll, but the next seven rolls might be good. So don't just do one roll, do a whole line and see if you like that whole line of what happens. And if you do, then you flick off the airplane mode. So then that's how you would, that's how you could do jail a lot more reliably than what I was telling you in the first video. I think that covers all the tiles that are on the map. Now I wanna talk about the special events and how that could be used for your favor. So I was going through them when I was looking, obviously the high multiplier or the high roller, you use that to your manipulation. Of course you use that in your favor, but I was trying to do all the other events. I was trying to figure out what else can be done. And I went to the color boost wheel. I figured those are RNG. It's random what your reward is when you hit the color wheel, right? No, it's not random. It's already predetermined before you even land on the tile. You could do it as many times as you want. I've landed on the tile as many times as you want. Let's say you uh, get all three on the orange and then you land on the orange and you get and you roll the color wheel and you get a green pack. Like you can see in the background here, I've played the clip many times, I'm sure. You will always get the same green pack. It rolls a wheel like it's random and it's a pie chart, but it's not. It's already predetermined before you even land on the tile. So then just know that for a random example. You are you keep getting dice and you keep getting money on the color wheel and you're sick and tired of it and you want to roll the color wheel until you get a pack. That's not going to happen. You can't manipulate it like that because your reward will always be the same even though it's random. That's the easiest way that I can explain it. Of course, cash boost is the most 
probably the best and lowest time that you can get for the events. They're only like five minutes long. Besides the high roller, I would suggest abusing those as well. And I think that's about it. I think that's a lot of the information. Um, if I forgot anything, I'll try to add it in the comments. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and need to learn how to do the airplane mode thing, go ahead and just look at my account. It should be the last video we posted and you'll find it. So happy hunting and yo so now.